Guys, can we start? Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Shamati. I know how to thank my own painting. She saw a demo on page of it. So, the assumptions we made here are most of the participants of the course of Selenium users. And so, we are going to start with a basic example and show the code and then transform this code into page of it. That's what we are going to do. So, I'll show the example that we are dealing with now. So, in this example, we are going to take the site SPI cinema and take two scenarios over there. So, it's not audible. Is my voice audible to everyone? Yeah, in case if it is not audible, you can come a bit afraid. We have places over here, and it's mostly a demo kind of a talk, so it would be better if people are near. Good. You can hear? You can hear your voice there? Good. So, uh, one of uh, the motive is to 
tomorrow we will be either having a uh, presentation that we have with Sriram that we did. And as well, we will try to put it in GitHub or some place where you can download the code and you can use it. So to cater to all these, we have tried to use different kinds of uh, parts. So even then, even though uh, the thing that we had with XPath had an ID, we just specifically used XPath so that it will stay as an example. So this is our second test, which does the same thing, opening the browser, navigating to SPA cinema, selecting the location, signing in, and then selecting show hand. So these are the two tests. We have what we have basically observed here is a lot of redundant code. In the first test, also you need to open the browser, navigate to SPA cinemas, log in, and select location. This seems to be common across both the tests. So we'll start doing of something like making them a separate function so that that can be used. Okay. And those are initializing the driver part for us. <laughs> and I put it to that initialize this. This is a separate function. So right now we have initialized being called as a part of this. So what she tried to do now? is using the ID, she tries to use a shortcut wherein it converts a set of code into a function. And the function was created below the test. So similarly for select location, I'm extracting this out. <laughs> you see this after initialize select location is being called in both the test. Post to this, I'm extracting out the log. One thing that you can see is once she extract out the function. In both the places where we use same set of uh, uh, code, it gets replaced with that function. And for simplicity sake, or to make it more readable, she moves all those functions that got created between the two tests to the initial part of the test. And it's the same order. First, we do the initialize, then select the location, and then lock. want the driver to create a web driver instance or a Firefox instance or a Chrome instance or whatever. So you cannot keep calling this in each and every test class that we have written. So you, no matter whatever test that you go, for every test, you should add this piece of code as part of the initial step. Okay. So what she is trying to do is extract that out as part of a base test and use inheritance and just tag base test to every class so that this would run Initiate. For optimizing. Yes, for optimizing way of doing. Why single tap? So that it creates only one object so and does not throw the code base and does not keep creating object and accumulating uh, base memory space. <laughs> so 
This is ID Eclipse. So this is a big one. Even in Eclipse, you can try to do the same kind of functions. Different classes for the fact for that particular run, there will be a driver present. So, that is the expansion that is already a driver object. So, that is we will cover it at the point of the so there are enhancements. What we are trying to cover is a basic functional test. So towards the end, we will tell you what enhancements can be done. And that part does not be <laughs> class does is before running every test the before whatever is in the before class works out for the uh, for all the tests in this particular class so before starting every test say uh, clicking on show times or uh, show time flow or the now 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 showing movies flow it will first do whatever is in the before class then whatever is under the test then whatever is in the after class so we will put the firefox initiation going to the uh, base URL or whatever the URL of the particular site and as part of before class and quitting as part of after class so that every test will be independent. It will start from the same place, it will end at the same place. So even tomorrow if you are going to go for parallelizing of test, you will not have any issues. So right now we have select location, login and initialize with the part of before class. And then Common other thing we see in the test is the driver dot which is closed in the browser. So this we will put it as a part of after after class after all tests are done. We will do that. At the part of expanding this test or with the page object model, what we are going to do right now is the page object model for every page will have a separate class which deals with all the elements of that particular page and all the functions of that particular page. So it gives more readability, maintainability to the code. So this will be done by our So now what we have done is we have created a before class set of things that will run before a test starts, then actual tests are in, it is like now showing and uh, the show times. Then, an after class, 
set of things that would be done after a particular test is done. Right. So till now, it is like changing the flow of the test which are before and after. I will just remove the select location and login right now from this. Uh, if required, we will take it here. Next is, I have to create pages and convert it into a page object model. So what is page object model? When you see any website, right? Website consists of what? Different pages. Okay. So since you start automating, it will not be like one person automating. There will be multiple people contributing for the automation. So maintaining it, or it will be very hard to come out of the duplication. Even you might have written the same code for a particular feature 50 days back. And after 50 days, you will not remember whether we have written a feature for it or not. So what page object model does is every page is taken as a separate class. So we treat a page as a class. So in the example that we show, say in HPC Mars, there will be multiple classes that we will be talking to. The first one is the home page. So whatever happens within this, with the URL www.spacinvars.in will be considered as a home page. If you see, the first thing that it came up was with select location. It is a frame, right? Since we are doing the initial setup, we can even include that frame as part of our first page. But in case tomorrow, if your uh, code becomes bloated up, you can just take that out and put it as a frame. A frame could also be a separate class and you can put it under a folder of frames so that all frames code can go either into different classes as frames or you can keep a single code, uh, single class as frame and call all those functions there. <laughs> Similarly, logging in can as well be written as a separate section or a frame because it does not have any uh, part to play in this home page. So login flow happens from home page. You can do login flow from any page. It need not be like only from home page you can do login. Even from movies page you can do login or any other page you can do login. So you can also segregate that. But those are all enhancements. Other than the home page, whatever pages that we will be interested on on the now showing page and next is show times page because the second flow or the second test will have show times page. The first flow Selecting a movie, on selecting a movie, you land into movie details. This we can have it as a movie details page, and all functionalities, actions, find elements, all those stuff pertaining to this page can go into that. Next, selecting a particular show time or particular show on that movie detail takes you to ticket selection page. So this entire page of selecting ticket or cancelling can go into ticket selection page. That is what I am going to do now. I will first create a folder called page wherein we are going to put all our pages. Next, what I am going to do is create four classes which uh, stands for the four pages that I talked about. First one is home page. So now we have done with creation of pages. Next thing what we have to do is we have done, we have initialized the web driver class or initialized the web driver as part of our base test, right? We are going to consume that driver across our complete test. So while calling every page, we have to also call the driver because otherwise you will not be possible, you will not be able to do any actions on that particular Firefox driver or the browser. So let us pass it as a constructor for every page, but this is not an advisable way of doing it. For simplicity's sake, since we are targeting novice audience, we will start with this 
and in the future advanced talk even which we can try to accommodate in the future sessions and they go to another stuff or even in youtube if you see advanced talk you will see how this can also be a refactor and made it lot easier but for the simplicity sake let us now go ahead with the constructor and let me just copy paste the code that i have written already because we are running short of time and it's just 10 minutes more so here what it does is it just initializes a web driver and uh, for home page it just get takes an uh, driver as part of uh, object initialization so how and where this will be used we will see it later similar to home page let us do the same thing for movie details now showing and others as well So on tender, we give you the options of what are all the things that can be used here okay. as choices. So the shortcut that I used in Intel J is on tender. It will give the options before if you see the web driver was showing red and throwing error. Now I'm giving alt enter, it asks me the important class. Might be while doing short time speed, I will explain you a bit more. So here, right? If you see web driver is red, that means that it is throwing error. So if you press alt enter, it will give you the option of either the import or whatever different choices is possible. If there is only one possible choice, then it will automatically do that. And that's the reason why it is better to go to IDEs because it will help you in coding a lot. You see here, right? It had all the options that can be done to avoid this kind of thing. So importing class is what we want to do. So we just click on it and import. Now what we have done is we have created page. So we have to change this flow in such a way that we consume those pages. So let us go into the test. Let us not concentrate on the functions that we created. So in the test, now showing, we started with initialization. And we moved this initialization block to base test. Or base class, sorry, as you said. So we can remove it out of here. Next is select location. So after initializing, where will our application or where will our browser be? So when you initialize it, where will our browser be at the initial state? It will be in our home page, right? So what we did, we created pages for home page or any other page. So we should create an object for home page now. New home page. And you should have a driver. Since we have initialized things here, it would be having driver. Okay? So we can pass the driver to home page. Next, what it should do? It should select location. So what we should ideally do is select location, as we said, is part of our home page action. So let us move this select location code completely to home page. And since this has to be used outside, let us make it public. public. Now, we are in home driver page. Clicking on dot, select location comes first. So we have selected location based on our page creation. Next, what next? We are going to log in. And as I told earlier, login will also be part of our home page. So let us move our login thing to the same home page. And again, make it public. Now, after select location, what we should do? We have nothing to do. So the next one that we should try doing is chaining. Because so after the home, we created the home page first. Now we have done an action on it. We have selected a function or we have done some list of functions on it. But generally, in our uh, so in our flow, after uh, selecting a location, where does our application end? It ends in the same home page, right? Because our next step of function is also going to be that. So, 
as part of this function at the end, let us return this page itself. And we can make it removing, removing it from void, let us make it that which returns home page. Now you will have control over your next action, which is logging in. And you need not have to initialize the same objects again and again. So you have login now. So what next? After doing login, where does it go? It goes to the same home page again. So make your login to return home page. This is called chaining. When you say clean, when you see clean code, chaining is not advisable. But one page wherein the chaining has been successful is here in automation. Next, what next? Next is ongoing login. Where does it go? It still says in home page. So the next thing what we are doing here is clicking on now showing. So let us move, let us first create a function here and then move the now showing things there. Still let us have void and click now showing. Or let us say click on movies. So this piece of code on clicking on movies should go there. So let us copy it, sorry, or cut it, paste it here. Printout sleeve requires an exception handling. So let us do our tender. Exception handling comes up. Now, clicking on movies, what happens? Let us say in our app. On clicking movies, what happens? It goes to now showing page. So ideally, our code should also give a handle for the next page. What we should do, return new now showing page and return the driver. Since this this page or this one, this class have the handle for the driver, you can pass the driver from this to that. And ideally it will throw error because you have to make this return now show. So now you get handle for now showing. Let us go into next. What we do, we have to click, click on the first movie which is real something. Where we should do? In the now showing page. So what we would do is, you would take this code, create a function there. Awesome. I got the heard someone saying click on movie. Public. Let us not care about return now. Click on movie. In case it would be, it, would, it is better, but it's a good practice to send whatever movie that you are clicking from the test. So let us change it to a string with movie name. And let us call the movie name here. The return sleep is one insane thing that we keep doing it, but there are a lot of ways in which you can remove return sleep, like waiting for an element present, waiting for a page to load, all those things require a wrapper writing around web driver. There are also a lot of wrappers written. Uh, explaining about wrapper will be too much for certain set of audience, so we will go into that. So let us just keep return sleep even now. So what what should click on move okay. We should call click on movie now. Click on movies and give the movie, which is DL movie. Ah. You didn't. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't. Okay. After that, I didn't even click on movies. So the mistake that I did was even before uh, writing and uh, the, calling the function click on movies, 
I just started uh, to think about clicking on movie TV, TV and cinema. So how it is that? So like this, the flow goes. Uh, let us just stop over here. So if you just have a look at this, just now. Just have a look at the now showing test alone. Do you think it is much readable now? And do you think it makes sense for anyone, even if not us? If somebody else comes and start reading this test, would they know what we are trying to do? Awesome. So that what that's what this achieves. So the page object model tries to just mimic the user as the page does. So first go to home page, new home page, create a new home page, or go to home page, select the location, give login credentials, click on movie, select the movie, select the first movie, and then go into seed selection, all those stuff going forward. Later. So this also helps us in giving functions in separate separate pages so that if we go to show times page, we can use all of them rather than click on show times page. The next thing that we will have is selecting a movie. So we can consume the selecting a movie from the movie details page itself because both are same. So show times leading to movie de or movie details page and now showing moving to movie details page is the same page from our code base as well now. So that results in our duplication going out completely. This is one of the help or one of the good things of page object model. I have given a very, very uh, basic example. So what are all the enhancements that can be done? One of the things that we should do is, as they told, the web driver should be made as a single time. It should be kept outside and the single time class should be passed as the initial step of the test and not as part of each classes. It should be as a part of suit level. That is something called before suit in which we have to initialize the driver, make it single time, make it static so that it would be the same driver all across. Second thing, we should not be passing these inputs like this. Tomorrow if the inputs change, in every place we have to change the input. Go for something like a factory pattern, wherein you get factories of inputs, use that factory, factories will have variables assigned to movie names, try to use those. In case you don't want to uh, dive into one movie or two, me two movie, and you have multiple movies that you should cater to, you can have list of things, you can have enum kind of things, or uh, collections, whatever uh, good things that you can, you can try to do. Or you can use a Excel sheet kind of a thing wherein you can consume from Excel sheet. Though it is, it will slow down your process, slow down your test. But if there is no other way, you can even go for it. Then use as much as possible uh, the coding conventions, naming conventions that is followed. That will make the test even more better. And the moment you go into IDE and use the coding convention, you will have a lot of fill that comes outright. So even here, right, the import things or uh, fetching of those classes come out right with just selecting one thing or doing all tender and other stuff. So try playing with it. Driver initialization or getting the home page or home URL. Uh, sometimes what we do is if we go into continuous integration and other stuff, we might have to run across multiple environments. So from the pipeline itself, we can try to get which environment runs the test in which URL. So the URLs can change like a space cinema, test.im, a space cinema, speakboard.im. So you can come make that also come out and get things from that level rather than here. One more thing to add is this. the pages, when we create the pages, we, we, instead of doing the elements creation here for every particular page, we have all the elements listed at the top and we will be using those elements in the test. Even more, if you want to go in, in for more further, we can use getter setters for the web elements and try to access using that so that you will not have, even in that, you will have some amount of encapsulation so that anybody cannot see it. Other stuff that can be done is, as, as I told, thread.sleep should be removed completely. If your code base is very big and it resulted in, uh, it results in floating up a class. So generally, a class which has more than 250 lines is considered to be doing more uh, functions than what it should ideally do. So you can break the classes, like converting it into frames, sections, and other stuff. And if you can also uh, come, like change the actions as part of different uh, package and say showtime actions, new now showing action, wherein you put all the actions there. 
web element identification into a separate package saying web elements and using the same page uh, naming there saying that new showing now showing page now showing web elements kind of stuff so there are a lot of things that you can do out of it and uh, this has matured a lot now there's a lot of uh, tutorials available everywhere if you go so uh, if in case you are interested more in this uh, you can uh, YouTube it or Google it, you will have lots and lots of uh, text for it.